hundreds have gathered to march from Allen Gardens to the U.S. consulate. This is one of a number of global events calling for action on climate change. We know that climate action it has to be an effort where all communities come together. That's both locally but as well as internationally. This is a big issue and it's not about the future anymore. It's about now as well. At Allen Gardens, a sea of signs as hundreds came together calling for support to end climate change. My fear is that this is the last generation that can do something about climate change. We're not going to be able to stop climate change. It's changing, but we don't want it to be the end of, um, end of life as we know it. Water is life! From rising waters to air pollution, activists here say there's no action too small to help save the planet. We want to give people concrete ways that they can contribute. So, you know, everything from taking transit to public, um, you know, walking outside, taking your bike. These are small actions, but they make a difference. And while they're encouraging citizens to do their part, they're also calling on governments to make policy changes to protect the earth. Our goal is to have um, clean air, clean water, and healthy land for all Canadians. Uh, we call these environmental rights. We like ultimately to see environmental rights in our constitution. System change, not climate change. The event, which took marchers to the U.S. consulate, aimed many of its calls directly at U.S. President Donald Trump. He's devastated the EPA, the EPA's funding. He doesn't even want to stay in COP21, the Paris Agreement. It's a powerful country. It has a lot of influence over things. The fact that, that the U.S. isn't being a leader in climate change is a tragedy for the world. The head of state marking his 100th day in office has been criticized for his pick to lead the Environmental Protection Agency, a man who has denied climate change. We can't let someone's power change what's the truth, and you have to act on what's the truth. You don't want to feel discouraged that because the U.S. maybe is taking a step back, that there isn't something we can still do that will make a huge difference.